Hey everybody, they really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Period Cube. We are starting on Lee Banner's route today. So we'll be doing a little bit of skipping in the beginning uh, until we get on her route because, you know, you only have to make those first couple choices until you're officially on a route. So I'll show you those real quick and then we'll be right on it. So you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. So first off, we have to use the knife. And secondly, you have to use the knife again. Oh, route changed already. No, I can't just run away. I grabbed the knife strapped to my belt. Hiroya! You idiot! Don't come this way! I should be able to land one hit. Yeah, that'll do a lot of good. Roar! Ah! Yeah! I guess the destruction was enough. I'm your opponent. Raw. It's so cute when he waves his little paw like that. G -g -g well, not a little paw, big paw. Here ya! <sighs> this is nothing. What should I do? At this rate, here you will die too. And we still don't know what happened. Roar. But even if I left here you behind in order to escape and survive, what then? Hurry up and run, Kazaha. No, I won't. Idiot, what are you saying? I can't do that. I'm going to fight with you. Just go. Why can't he say he'll run too after she runs? Never. Roar. Damn it. Stop. Just as Hiroya protected me before, I want to protect Hiroya too. Ah, using the power early this time. What's this? You're in for a treat. The sky. There are swords. They're coming down. Don't worry, I don't think we have friendly fire in this game. Rawr! It disappeared. What was that just now? Kaza. Are you alright? You look pale. Hang in there. I suddenly feel dizzy. I wonder what's come over me. Did you do that? Do what? Didn't you see? Swords from the sky came down and struck the monster. Couldn't be... the Almighty? Well, it makes sense. Here are your rush to look at the game menu. Class, minstrel, race. Almighty! Almighty? The people from earlier were also calling me the Almighty. How could your race be Almighty? That's right. The second system message. That might expl- Ugh. Here ya? It's nothing. Yeah, you collapsed for no reason. Here ya! Are, are you alright? <sighs> oh no, you're injured. He took too many hits earlier. In fact, he was bleeding all over. I need to treat you. I'm fine. I'll handle it. Hiroya started to control something with his hand. Oh, your wounds are healing. Is that magic? It's not magic. It's a boxer skill. There are attack skills and there are healing skills. Wow. It's not a big deal. I can only recover a little for myself, but... I can't use it on you. It's okay, I'm fine. I just got dizzy. You look terrible, you idiot. Don't lie. But Hiryo doesn't look good either. His wounds heal a lot, but still. We gotta go into hiding. Somewhere where people won't spot us. If not, they might target you again. Is that so? Don't look like that. I played a lot of Arcadia at one point, you know. As Hiryo said that, he got up. I guess it's been a while. Maybe that's why he hasn't remembered to change my settings. I think there's a cave over there. If we could get to an active portal at the entrance, we can get to town. It's raining. We've got to hurry. Can you walk? I can. Honestly, I was still a little dizzy, but I didn't want to worry Hiroya. He's in pain too. As usual, Hiroya thought of me instead of complaining about his own stuff. 
I have to take care of Hiroya. Let's go. Ah, it's still that choice between these two. That's kind of neat. You get that that you're you're on the route between the two, and they show that in the screen. Algeo Cave. Oh, it's so it's just, it's like the other cave, but a little bit more rainbowy instead of mostly blue. We trudged through the dark forest in the rain, and finally reached the cave. Someone must have built a fire here. It's warm. It's a cave with magic lights. It's a relief to see light again. Yeah, not only that, but... Oh, wait, Hiroya, don't push yourself. It's too dangerous. He's still weak. He needs to recover. I think it's around here. Ah. What's wrong? The portal. It's gone. Normally, there's a magic square here that warps you to town. I thought we'd be able to use it. So it's different from the game? Damn it. We came all the way here. At this rate. Hey, Hiroya, let's rest for now. We can brainstorm while we wait. Yeah, you're right. No point in rushing things, I guess. We could dry our clothes and... Hiroya, are you alright? Sorry, I'm fine. Sit here. Damn it, I'm so lame. Hiroya, he's looking even worse. Oh... Use my skill again. The effect from the skill slowly disappeared, but he still looked pale. Hiroya? I'll be fine. I just need to rest. You better be telling the truth, buddy. You're right. Take it easy for now. Sorry. Not at all. I was tired too. Oh, okay. We both need a break. Ah, <sighs> My body feels heavier than I thought. I can suddenly feel all of my fatigue. Some space would be nice, you know. Oh, just appreciate it while you can. Sorry, I just felt a little dizzy. Oh, yeah, huh? That's right, sorry. Um, you can lean on me a little more. No, I'm fine. Don't push yourself. I'm not pushing myself. I think I just fell asleep. Liar. Then why are your eyes closed? Yours too. My head felt hazy, and the sound of my voice seemed to be moving further away. I promise I'll protect you. It was Hiroya's voice. I promise. Me too. We'll protect each other. Want to protect. You just gotta remember how to use that almighty skill. Aw, oh, man. Look at them sleeping all carefree. Huh? Wow, what the? I thought you were sleeping. A girl? Good morning there. Sleep well. Who are you? I'm just a passing player. It was pouring out there, so here I am. I thought I sent someone around. Anyway... You sure you want to leave him like that? He's still poisoned. Poisoned? Yeah, I didn't check his status. He's poisoned and his HP is dropping. Huh? At this rate, his HP will be zero soon. No! Here we are! <sighs> oh, crap. Got any antidotes? Antidotes? What the hell? You gotta be kidding. You're only level one. Yeah, I am. I don't know anything about this game. Really? So you got thrown into Arcadia as a new user? Wow. I've never seen a newbie in World V before. Please, tell me what I have to do. Hmm. Guess it can't be helped. Let's see. Have an antidote I can buy? Here you go. One antidote. You should make and drink it quickly. What am I gonna owe you for this? Thank you. Hiroya, wake up. Open your mouth. Mm. I got an antidote. Drink it. Mm -mm. Phew, well, that was a close one. Glad you made it in time. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Do you know a lot about the game? I think about an average amount. It's rarer to find someone like you. Oh, I guess it would be. How could a newbie be the almighty? 
she called me the Almighty too. Ah, huh, hold up. I wouldn't do anything horrible to you. Besides, if I was planning to in the first place, I wouldn't have saved him. I mean, I could have just kept quiet, let him die, you know. Well, I was just passing by and thought I'd check out the famous Almighty while I was around. A little sneak peek. What do you mean by that? Hiroya, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine now. Ah, oh, look at you forcing yourself. I don't think you're fine at all. Shut up. So, you're not actually better yet? Although the antidote cures the poison, you still got the fatigue left. That can't be comfortable. Don't tell her that kind of stuff. Do you two know each other? None of your business. Come on, Hiroya. Ugh. I see. Well, whatever. But you seem to be a relatively high-level player. Why don't you teach her about the ID search settings? Her ID set is public. ID search? Uh, it's like you just left the beacon on for all the other players wanting to find the Almighty. You really want that? Open your settings. See the gear icon? Y yes Go to the shared settings, then change your ID to private. Like this? Well, players nearby like me might still come looking for you. What do you want out of this? I already told you. I just came to see the Almighty. But I didn't expect that the Almighty would be a girl. Damn it. How did this happen? You really have no clue? Of course not. We started a new login, and all of this happened. I have no idea what's going on. So, about me being the Almighty... Oh, well... Hey, I told you to keep quiet. Fine, but it's dangerous to get sucked into something so clueless, no? Yeah, let her educate me, man. Besides, you didn't even have an antidote. You sure you'll be alright? Well, I haven't played in a while, so I'll have to go into town and get some. You think you can get out without a portal? With a low-level girl, too? Well, that sounds like suicide to me. <sighs> Let me just ask you this, for fun. You do know it's really bad if you die in Arcadia, right? However, during battles within Arcadia, if the character's HP reaches zero, the character's data will be lost. Which means the player will die too, so be careful. Well, that's true. You saw the angel getting hit by that monster earlier, didn't you? Uh, how did you know? You weren't... Yeah, I was pretty much hiding and watching the whole time. Never thought an angel would pop up. Well, that was surprising. Then why? What? I'm gonna ask him why I didn't help. You think we would've won if I had? If we failed, that'd be it for me. Well... Everyone's life is their own priority. You protect yourself, don't you get it? But that doesn't mean... I see both points. And since we're going for a Libera, we have to say I think this person is right. My guess is to get on Hiroya's route, I had to pick the other choice. So, yeah. But this time we have to say, I think this person's right. I think this person's right. But... There's no point getting mad over what already happened. We're safe now. I turned to the girl and continued. I want to know what's going on. Do you think you could show me everything you know? Everything? I would take a while, probably. I'm Kazuha, and you are? Just call me Libera. And nice to meet you, Kazuha. It's nice to meet you, too. And the guy over there is Hiroya. Do you guys know each other offline? Yeah. Is she your girlfriend? No. Well, we don't have to be all emphatic about it. Easy there. No need to get so riled up. I mean, lots of couples play these kind of games together. But, oh, it's like that, hmm? I see. Shut up. We're childhood friends. Isn't that nice? You sure are close. Hey, you don't have to tell her that. So, where should I start? From the beginning. Are we really inside a game? I think so. There's no other explanation. But that doesn't mean everything's exactly the same either. Oh yeah. Do you know why the portal's sealed? Beats me. This isn't the only one that's closed. 
There are way fewer portals than in the usual Arcadia. But eh, not all the teleportation magic or skills work here. The only things you can use are consumption items, but they're rare, so you can't use them all the time. The difficulty level's so damn high. So, everyone says I'm the Almighty. What does that mean? Have you read the system message written about the Almighty? I think it'd be faster to read that first. About World V, the Trinity of Swords. Yep, that's the one. To the Divine Blade of Light and the Infernal Shadow's Edge, we've added the final item, the Almighty Amadeus. The Almighty's ID is the following. This is Kazaha's ID. This was sent as a system message. No wonder she was targeted. Yep, you read the first system message, right? Do you remember it said we had to clear the Ark? Oh. By clearing special quests, players will be able to log out of the game temporarily. By leveling up your equipment, you will be able to visit the final dungeon, the Sky Corridor Ark, and challenge it. God's heritage awaits. Reach it and you'll be able to completely log out of World V. So, if you clear the special quest, you can go back to the real world. But after some time, you're sucked back here. If you clear the Ark completely, you can go back to the real world forever. Exactly. The Trinity of Swords is the key to having the advantage there. That's why people are after her. Well, the Divine Blade and the Shadow's Edge are already owned by other players. The last thing to complete the set is the Almighty, which no one's gotten yet. And on top of it, she's only level 1. But I'm sure they had no intention of clearing the Ark using the Almighty. Why not? Like I said, you fail, you die. You'd have to be pretty dumb to challenge a super difficult dungeon at the levels they were. Well, yeah, you have a point. I'd say that leaves handing her over to a powerful player or selling her. Oh, yeah. So that's why when a monster came and their lives were in danger, they all just ran for it, huh? Come to think of it, the angel said they wanted to present me to someone. Present you? Maybe the Clarius people are nearby. Clarius? The speedrunners? Yup, yup. Supposedly, the party leader is in World V. Uh, Astrum was it? He's the one with the Divine Blade. What's a speedrunner party? I think the name's kind of self-explanatory. They're a group of people who clear difficult quests really quickly. So, I guess you can say they're the best when it comes to playing games. So are they better than you, Hiroya? <laughs> you idiot. I'm nothing in comparison. But Hiroya's so strong. And Clarius isn't just one party, but they're a huge angel guild. Well, they formed a unified group as angels to defeat the Ark. Whoa, so how about demons? Well, unified guilds like the angels have. There's Radius, who has the Infernal Edge, and isn't a party player. Won't form a party? Don't tell me he's clearing dungeons solo. Well, that's what I've heard. Are you serious? How good is he? So you mean he's out there by himself? All right. Normally people form a party with a healer, a tank, and a damage dealer, basically an attacker. So this guy does all that on his own? That's amazing. Oh yeah. Do you know Forte, the demon speedrunners? I might have heard of them, but I haven't been online lately. Maybe not then. They've only made a presence in the past six months. Ever since Insania went missing, Forte's been the most promising. Insania? I know that name. They were famous, even during early access. Yeah, exactly. That Insania left for the Ark and haven't returned. Wow, even those guys. You're really knowledgeable. Oh yeah, have you heard of Regulus? Regulus? No. A friend of yours? Her brother. What? Is that his name? Yeah, he's been playing since beta testing. So someone in World V must know him. I don't know him. This person's in World V, you said? We're not sure about that, but it seems like he could be in World V. He's been missing for a while. In real life? Yeah, we were trying to trace his whereabouts and got sucked in here. Oh, wow. that was risky of him. What do you mean? I heard that if you tell others about World V in real life, something bad will happen, like being wiped out. Huh? Wiped out? By whom? 
And how would someone even do that? There's no way you could monitor who said what to another person, right? That can't be. I don't really know. I'm just saying there are rumors. The only reason none of us can escape is unknown too, you know? So, I guess it makes sense that the impossible would be possible here. Shiki. Is that the truth? Meets me. What do you mean by that? It means she only knows what the rumors are. Fine. Let me ask you this then. Why don't you go back to the real world and ask what they think about world B? No, that's... See? There's no way for us to tell. It's up to you whether you want to believe it or not. But if we don't know anything, how are we supposed to go from here? Well, I think the shared opinion is we're just going to have to beat the Ark. That's why everyone's putting their hopes on the Trinity of Swords. And that's why Kaza is targeted. <sighs> well, that's about it, methinks. Anything beyond this probably won't be retained. Why don't you guys take a little rest? We've been resting. You're right. Let's rest, Hiroya. Yeah. I'll take the first watch. There may still be guys nearby who are coming to look for Miss Almighty. Then I'll go with you. You idiot, you can't go outside. If you're going to go, then I'll... Ugh. Hiroya, are you alright? Both you guys should just rest. But... I mean, I'm the only one who's not hurt. This is just one of those times when we gotta help each other out, right? Okay, we'll take you up on that. I'll leave it to me. Thank you for everything, Libera. You're welcome. I'm glad she's a good person. <sighs> yeah, I wouldn't count on it yet. There might be something in it for her. How do you feel? Feverish? No fever. You shouldn't be worrying about me right now. I'm completely fine. I rested earlier, so I feel way better. And I wasn't poisoned. How could you be fine after using that much power before? And in our current situation. But you're here with me, Hiroya. And besides, this is all my fault. I said I wanted to play. That's not it. Hiroya. I should have stopped you back then. I knew that World B was dangerous, so you're not at fault at all. But... I'm sleeping, so you rest too. God knows what's going to happen to us next. Hiroya lay down and turned his back toward me. Good night, Hiroya. <sighs> Quest 2, yeah, see, we're on. Libera's path already. Hmm. How long was I asleep? Hiroya is still fast asleep. I feel bad if I woke him. And where did Libera go? Did she leave us already? Ah, oh, it's bright. Oh, you're awake. Morning. Sleep well? I did, thanks to you. Good. So long as Hiroya's up for it, let's go to town first. There aren't any monsters in town, and players aren't allowed to fight each other, so you'll be safe. Really, thank you for everything. I'm just helping out a friend in need. I'm glad I met someone so nice. It's a long way to Twilight Capital. Although, a crowded town will keep her hidden more easily. It'll be safer. Exactly. On top of that, we'll need to go shopping for equipment and items. Is Twilight Capital a big place? Yep. It's the base for demon players. Oh, that's right. Do you know how to read the map? Er, the map? Yeah, at the very edge of the menu. Oh, it came up. You see the dot in the middle? Well, that's where we are now. And this is the Twilight Capital. You're right. It's pretty far. If we keep up this pace, I think we can make it while it's still light out. Well, how about we take a break, yeah? We've been walking ever since we got out of that cave. I'm kind of tired. If we don't get to town soon, though, we could get attacked again. That's fine. Our IDs aren't open. And there's spawn points around here, you see? <sighs> what do you want to do? I... I think I'd like to rest, I guess. I feel like we're resting too much. I think I'd like to rest. I just want to disagree with Hiroya and everything. Right? You're so carefree. You worry too much, Hiroya. Do what you want. Oh, that's alright. Huh? 
What is it? I've been thinking about this since yesterday. About that Regulus guy. Regulus? Shiki? I just remembered. I've seen him at Twilight Capital before. How do you know it was him? Uh, really? Yeah, calling out the people in the town square, saying that demons and angels have to cooperate to escape World B. He was looking for someone to go to the Celestial Palace with him. To the Celestial Palace? I wonder where that is. Is it far? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I opened the map, but I couldn't find it right away. Where it is? It's the Angel Base, so it's on the opposite side from ours. It's so far. So, what happened after that? I saw him in a deep discussion with some people from Insania. Insania is that famous party of demons, isn't it? Yes, don't you remember you were talking about that yesterday? Right. They went in with the full party to World me and cleared a lot of the Ark. Although, I haven't seen them back. Even in the game world, Shiki was well known, so we might have known them. So then, those people went to the Celestial Palace with Shiki? Well, that's possible. <sighs> I'm going to head to the Celestial Palace. You wait with Libera at Twilight Capital. I don't think we should split up, but I can't stop you, I guess. What? You're going alone? There are even stronger enemies there, and you're going solo. That's exactly why I can't take her to the Celestial Palace. I hate to say it, but I'm not confident I can protect you with my abilities. That's wise of you, actually. Hiraya! It's our only lead. I know you wouldn't want to give up without checking it out. Well, yeah, but... I can manage on my own. Just wait in town. I promise I'll bring back Shiki. You can't promise that! You're right. I think it's best to wait, too. <sighs> That's right. Just wait with me. You'll feel safer with someone here, right? I can teach you all about World V and the game while we wait. Libera. It's fun hanging out with you anyway. Are you sure it's okay? Well, leave it to me. I'm well known at Twilight Capital. And I don't like doing anything dangerous, so you wouldn't be at risk. I really do feel safe with Libera. But making Hiroyo go alone... You should register him as a friend, so you could send messages to each other. You'd feel more at ease if you made up a rule like messaging every day, right? Yeah, let's do that. Hiroya has invited you to become friends. Confirm? Uh, oh, what, I'm not sure? I'm not sure if I want to be friends with you, Hiroya. Just press OK. Got it. Oh, while we're at it, both of you register me, too. Registration complete. You've got a ton of friends on your friends list. Alright, and there we're going to stop this video. <laughs> So we'll pick up Libera's routes on the next episode. Big learning curve in this first one, as usual. And we still got Hario's route and Shiki, so I guess we're gonna have to go through it two more times. See, that's why it's nice to have a longer common route so you can get that stuff out of the way and not have to go over it a million times. But oh well. Anyway, hope to see you in the next episode or some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me. And I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.